Hi, welcome to a very epic issue, even more epic than the last one. Issue 136 of the Titanic Ship of Legend. This is going to be a really, really good one. I don't think there's a huge amount to do, but there's, yeah, it's tested, lighting up, fingers crossed, and smoking, and everything. So, yeah, it's going to be looking amazing at the end of this one. So, please, I uh, hope you enjoy it. Uh, it should be a good one, hopefully. So, so, so. Right, so the parts we've got don't look much. So we've got two stern ladders, a bow ladder. The only thing I can tell the difference is uh, this has a blank end. Two of the, the two sim ones the same. I've got like a blank bit at the end, and the bow ladder hasn't. Don't think it makes a difference, but that's what it looks like to me anyway. Then you've got uh, the crow's nest, which is, looks a bit pantsery to us. And you got the support cones, which I'm not sure if I'll be using all of them because we'll see how the deck fitting goes on. Then we've got uh, AD strip with a bit of glue, blue um, double sized sticky tape. I was going to say blue tape. Then a very small boom, very, very thin, very tiny. Then we've got uh, anchor, which is, I think it's metal. I like a very hard plastic. It's actually a bit pointlessly. Uh, hinged a little bit. I don't know why they've done that because it's actually just going to be sitting on the bow or stern, whatever it is. Uh, then we've got the forward mast, which is a nice piece of big amount of metal. And then we've got electric cable, which is an extension G5, I think it says. Yeah, G5. Uh, I'm going to get the, the uh, Titanic, which is definitely living up to its name. One sec. So, what I've gone and done before. Uh, previously, uh, during the last issue, I've got myself a power bank. This is a, a five volt, straight two point one, uh, two point zero one amp, to two point one amp capacity, five thousand milliamps. This is a uh, handy because I'm going to probably put this in the base with the in the case, base in the case. And when I'm not using it, I'll unplug it. So, yeah, all you do is literally plug into the base. Make sure it's on USB. But for now, I'll turn it off for the base, which is nice. Right, so now. Actually, no, I'll leave it on for a sec. I'll put it on for a sec. I want to make sure this LED works first. So this one it says it plugs into uh, F on the board. So I won't bother changing the camera angle for that because it's just on the board anyway. Kind of further, uh, closest to the board, uh, closest to where the LED goes. Uh, I've got the uh, remote. Which actually works now. What happened was a friend of mine, uh, Rod Adams, suggested that. Sorry, just press turn it off first. If you lift this little tab up with a pair of tweezers or something, just lift it slightly up, which I've done. Then it gets a better connector connection on the battery, which it does, and it works. So yeah. So now, if I press the light button. Back if you ever get this working, so that was about <laughs> it. Works now, randomly not working. That was it's a bit temperamental for some reason, right? So let's uh, put back under that one because that's where it's supposed to go. 
Uh, right, let's get this backing off. We might have to turn the Titanic on some way to get it to work better. I'm not sure to this. Because it seems to be a bit plain up there. So we kind of leave uh, put in the middle sort of thing. Let's see if I can get this lit up. Oh. Let's see if I take the back in earlier uh, actual front off. There's not much difference. <laughs> I'll probably show it off at the end anyway when I've got the windows closed and I can actually see it better. Right now, let's get the, the hole. And it's just to get the plastic bits and put them in. And these four big holes here. Nope. <laughs> Nothing like that one. Yeah, not that big holes. Is it going? Oh, duh. I thought they were going in the holes, they'd go on these poles. <laughs> okay. I was like, why is it not going in the hole? Makes sense now. And the other two on the other side. Makes a bit more sense now. But I might have to take these off, one of these, or two of these, obviously. Because I've seen other people like uh, Dave Mack try getting this decking on and uh, taking the front two off helped a lot. So let's we'll see what happens there. All right. Now back in set, I've got to get the uh, smoke generators. I said I've done the other two, but so you take the uh, smoke generator, pop the lid off. Pop the little cigarette <laughs> filter out, and I've got myself a 10 mil syringe from uh, work. Fill it up with water and just squeeze it into the uh, into the reservoir. And put the uh, little filter, cigarette filter pin back in, and then pop the lid back on. Now, what we need to do, connect them up to the uh, Titanic, which is easier than done. So, let's get this down for a moment. All we need to do is take the smoke generator and connect it to the wire would come out of the top of the funnels we put in there ages ago. And then what you need to do is pull the excess of the uh, wire through. Thank you. 
than that, he said. Um, I think this goes as far as it goes this way. Yeah, it won't go all this way out. Push it all the way in. Do the same with the other two. And at this we get the end of this we get to test these. Hopefully they work. really won't come out no oh, sugar the wire ditch you won't get stuck yeah. that not good that definitely not good let's get the other one in for now to mess about this one to get this work it get this wire out um, back of you in a bit somehow I'm going to change the angle a few times with this one but got the smoke generator out I don't know if that was going to work or not the wire was a bit trapped so I have to see hopefully it wasn't damaged but so first of all we need uh, this extension cable came with this issue and that plugs into why it's marked Z on the on the ball uh, from the base, which is this one down here. What's this one? Yeah, this one. Then we get. So this one's K1. So K1 goes in the furthest one away. Um, what side are we going? Okay, this way around. You have this other label, uh, numbers of the uh, board, uh, numbers of the smoke generators face this way. Then K2. This is the one that's a bit iffy. Uh, I'll pass that through this side. Okay, three. Uh, pass through this side as well. Extension cable one we got. Goes on the shore there actually. Oh G one. Two sets of cables here as well now to go in. One set mark G1 and the extension one we just put in, which is mark G5. And that's all that's all 
uh, put on. So hopefully, fingers crossed, turn the base on, turn the controller on. Again, I'm going to have to get this set up somehow. I don't know how it's going to be working. So back in the video, right, it's got it all connected and actually uh, kind of working. Sound is temperamental. I don't know what's going on with sound, but all the lights in the deck working. I'll check them all. You can see something like there. Uh, some reason, whistle's not working at the moment, but smoke. All three smoke generators are smoking. Surprise! Glad that middle one was because that was pain. I'm glad uh, I thought that wasn't going to work, but yeah, you can see all three smoke generators are working. Um, I don't know what's going on with sound at the moment, why well, that's not perfect, but the uh, engines still work both ways. Probably the smoke will turn on for about uh, 90 seconds and then we'll stop. After it's only for 90 seconds, that's fine. Cool. Now the <laughs> engine's about to turn off. Don't know why. But yeah. At least the uh, smoke generators work. Finally. Right, back in a sec. Right, now the difficult part. Now, if you've got the wire in the way you want it to, which is I have, <laughs> hopefully, then you should have the, yeah, should, in theory, be able to push this all on and one go. But, yeah, it's going to be a pain to line up. Because the uh, decking has been like <sighs> misshapen a hundred times. Nearly years over. Right, it's not going fully down. I'm going to take the two front ones out and uh, do it without the two, and I'll be back with you hopefully when they're fitted better. So, yeah, so I'm taking the uh, these off helped a lot. As soon as I took that off, it popped in first. It's right, right. I find that if you put the back end in first, because that's where the two tabs are, it popped in the front instantly as soon as I did that. So, yeah, so that's. Perfectly put together, except for some reason the lights and sounds not work even still. I don't know what's going on, it's so temperamental. So, the last parts of this issue is the mast and uh, steps. So, let's do this before the end of the issue. Right, so take the mast and the crow's nest. The crow's nest is going to go in this hole here. So you just need a, if necessary use glue it says, don't necessarily need it so we'll see. Eh, yeah I'll use some. Maybe a little bit, not too much. I should put crow's nest in upside the right way round. So, then you get the very, very, very thin uh, boom, a little bit of glue on that. Sure. 
and that just pops into a little hole down here so it pokes off at an angle like that almost done This goes into the decking. Showing this on camera is not possible. Sorry. There's a T-shaped hole near the front of the on the forecastle, so actually have to set it there. There it goes. With a little boom sticking out this way. Anchor just seems so stupid to be designed. I don't try to get a better anchor. So the anchor just sits there. Don't glue it in place, it just says without gluing it. No one. Now the there, it's slightly different than the others. Well, with no gap, goes on this side of the ship. This little hole down here. Right, so. That was easy. <laughs> and then. The other two go on the other side of the deck. I'm not going to turn it around again because there's so much pain in the back side. And I'll be back for you. No, actually, I'll do that off camera. And that's it. That is that huge issue done. I'll do some hero shots at the end on the, uh, um, the box behind back, uh, my new case behind me so you can see it all light up in the dark. Hopefully, I'll close the curtains. So yeah, <laughs> so you can see it all lit up and hopefully it's smoking smoke in with that. Try getting it working to sound as well. So uh, next week, uh, next week we've got Spool of Nile of Fred, oh joy. Bow, Skylight, Stern Light, Ladder Hoist, Campus Station and Compass. So I think we're replacing these, it looks like we're replacing these. We've had, I've had on this since ages. Luckily not glued in place, they're just uh, sellotaped on place. That's what it looks like anyway, could be wrong. But yeah, that's it. So uh, enjoy these uh, last few minute or two of the video uh, of the Titanic. That's not working, is it? I don't know why it's temperamental with getting lights on and stuff, but the light's not showing up very well at the moment because it's pretty still light out there. It's a bit annoying, but yeah, there you are. We have it fully working Titanic. That only problem I had was the one of the wires for the um, smoke generator was a bit loose, but other than that, uh, tight even, but yeah, other than that, that's it. Look at that. Just barely getting a shot, it's so big, she said. <laughs> but yeah, they are. I'm gonna have to replace that 
tape. Definitely going to do have to do something about that because okay, rubbish. Isn't it? Luckily, there's only a couple peaks on this side. It's obviously the hero side as well. So yeah, so please hit like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to get them next week because we haven't got anything coming through yet. So, so yeah, please hit like, share, subscribe, hit the cash bell, and uh, you know when I come like, the next one. So, please uh, hope you enjoyed, and uh, see you probably next week with the Titanic view and finishing it off. See you soon, bye. Please remember to hit the like button and the subscribe. See you soon in the next video. See you soon. Bye.